Hello and welcome to everyone out there continuing your game, game dev, dev journey, journey, journey with Godot. By now you know that I scour through YouTube each week looking for Godot gold and anyone doing anything interesting with the engine really. Godot is proving to be a big hit with beginners as more and more people are getting into game dev. So let's take a look at what I found this week. Godot 4 is in beta and developers everywhere are testing it and pushing it to find the limits. One such developer is Neko Arts, who has a video out where you can learn how to implement compute shaders with ray tracing in Godot 4. Not only is the content excellent, but the video is edited and presented in such an engaging and entertaining way, you have to watch it for yourself to understand why it's been so well received. Hot World's game is on a mission to make a 2D beat-em-up fighting game in Godot, and he's been posting some really useful videos for others to learn from. Examples of these are the Godot Tips series, which include how to name your files so that you don't get confused, and how to structure your project so that you don't get confused. If you're starting out and you just want to know how to organize your projects properly, these videos are well worth your time. Background loading is so common that you've definitely seen it in almost every game you've played. With it being such a common and important feature in games, it's something you should know how to do in your own game, and thankfully Godot makes the process easier for us. Diecode has a video out explaining how to implement background loading in Godot in just 5 minutes. So if you want to create a loading screen and load a scene in the background all in Godot, then you've come to the right place. Perhaps you're working on an FPS game and you want to know how to make your FPS controller interact with the game world. If so, then Nagi has a video out explaining how to add interactive objects like buttons, doors, elevators and NPCs to your FPS game using Raycasts, GDScript and a little bit of magic. Watch the full video on Nagi's channel to see a true wizard at work. I have to shout out Practical NPC for the amazing Godot game dev live streams which he's been running during development of the demo for his game Afterlife. It's really interesting to see the game being developed in real time and to be able to ask practical NPC questions in the chat and receive a live response is quite incredible. You can check out the recorded streams, but better still, be sure to join the next live. It's great. I've also come across some interesting experiments with Godot this week. Kextex has been testing the video stream player node in Godot 4, and it looks to be a promising addition for awesome cutscenes for your game. GB2 has recreated some of the Half-Life 2 gameplay mechanics in Godot 4, and even the basis for the nail gun from the cancelled Half-Life Return to Ravenholm is there, as part of preparation for his future Half-Life fan game, Code Green. Match Day Soccer is a football game with managerial and design elements. You can design the stadium for the team as well as deciding on the player formations and so on. The entire project is made in Godot. Finally, Godot Dev has made a real-time weather app using Godot Engine and he has a video out demonstrating it. The interface looks really clean and polished and it's a testament to what is achievable with Godot's container nodes. Godot Dev has a number of interesting projects so feel free to have a look through his videos. That's all for this week. Thanks for joining me and I hope to see you all again next time.